And now, some fresh pickings from the political grapevine. Democratic Congressman Jim Cooper of Tennessee is now backtracking on his claim that the Obama administration encouraged him to defy House Speaker Nancy Pelosi on the stimulus bill. The Blue Dog conservative Democrat was one of 11 to vote against the measure. He said on a liberal radio network Monday, quote, I probably shouldn't tell you this, but I actually got some quiet encouragement from the Obama folks for what I'm doing. Now, Cooper says he was misunderstood and that he was talking about laying out his concerns to the administration officials. Quote, at no point did any member of President Obama's staff encourage me to vote against the House Economic Recovery Bill. After the conversation, I felt encouraged that the administration understood those concerns and shared my longstanding commitment to fiscal responsibility. The U.S. Conference of Mayors has a wish list of almost 19,000 projects requesting funding from the stimulus bill. Most are shovel-ready proposals for things like roads and sewers, but the Wall Street Journal reports some localities are using the kitchen sink strategy, asking for whatever they can get. Las Vegas wants $2 million for neon signs. Austin, Texas says it could use $886,000 to build a 36-hole Frisbee golf course. Shreveport, Louisiana has asked for $6 million for three aquatic centers with water slides. And Chula Vista, California wants a half million bucks to create a place where dogs can run without a leash. The United Nations has changed its story about Israel striking one of its schools in Gaza. The January 6th incident, you may remember, killed 43 Palestinians and has been a major point of contention between Israel and the U.N. over the Gaza military operation. The U.N. initially claimed that Israeli mortar shells pounded a U.N. relief school. But Haaretz newspaper reports the U.N.'s humanitarian coordinator in Jerusalem now says his organization, quote, would like to clarify that the shelling and all of the fatalities took place outside and not inside the school. And finally, an update on a story we brought you before here on The Grapevine. A legal immigration advocacy group is demanding that President Obama deport his aunt an illegal immigrant living inside the U.S. The Americans for Legal Immigration Political Action Committee is also asking Immigration and Customs Enforcement to arrest Zaituni Anyango. A spokesman says, quote, President Obama must either deport his aunt or destroy his own credibility by showing her favoritism. Anyango is currently living in Ohio and has vowed to fight a court deportation order to her native Kenya.